Hey you, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Welcome, my name is Anna. I'm a registered nurse with a focus in skin aesthetics and wellness, and I'm also the owner of a holistic skincare brand, Happy Go Skincare. So sorry my phone died. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your percentage into grams to make it super easier in order to formulate your product. Let's get right into it. Okay, so whenever you are writing out a formula, and I'm going to be making a batch of, or restocking my Glossy Serum. This, <laughs> I don't know why I sound like that, but this is how I write out any formula. It's always three phases, sometimes four, depending on the product that you're making. So you have the water phase, oil phase, and then the cool down phase. So obviously they kind of, explain what goes in which phase so all the water based stuff and all your powders and or ingredients that are soluble in water goes into the water phase the oil phase are just your oils your waxes and your um emulsifiers or your butters so all of those would go under oil your cool down phase are the stuff that has to be at a certain temperature in order to go into your formula. So like your preservative is always under cool down. Um, I know vitamin E is always under cool down phase. Um, if you have like any kind of active ingredient that can only be added to your formulation at a certain temperature is always under cool down. So pretty much anything that has to be at a certain temperature is always under your cool down phase. So as by the video, I'm going to be showing you guys not how to um really like write out your formulation as in like create a formula. If you do want me to do a video on how to like create a formula, then you can let me know. I'm going to show you how to transform your formula from percentage to grams. It's always easier to formulate in grams because that's how the scale measures. My scale comes in grams, ounces, kilograms, and I believe that's it. So you cannot weigh 5% on a scale. It doesn't exist. There's no way that you're going to do that. So you have to either transfer your percentage into grams or ounces. I know some people that formulate in ounces. That's a little bit harder. Um, I've tried it and it's it's really confusing. Grams is always the way to go. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to do it with the preservative. So first you want to start by figuring out what is the ounce of the product? Is it a one ounce product? Is it a two ounce product? Is it a 2.5 ounce product? You have to first figure out the ounce of the product. And for this product, it is a one ounce product, right? So here is the math. The math is 5% because, well, we're going to start with a preservative. So it's going to be 0.5% of one ounce, right? Because you want to figure out how much of the preservative you need for the ounce. So the whole bottle, you have to cover for the whole bottle. So 0.5% of one ounce. And then you are going to put what it equals. All I do is I go to Google. Google is going to be your best friend. And you're going to type Google 0.5% of one ounce. And remember, you want it in grams, right? You want it in grams. So we're going to put in grams. And you hit enter. And it's going to spit it out for you. So 0.5% of one ounce equals 0 0.14 grams. And I always stop at the second number. Um, if, yeah, I always stop at the second number, depending on how, what the digit is. I'll sometimes stop at the first number. So 0.5% of one ounce is 0 0.14 grams. All right. So once we got that answer, we are going to come back here and plug our number in. 0.5% of one ounce, 0 0.14 grams. And that's it. That's really how easy it is. So you will pretty much do the same process 
for all of your ingredients, depending on what the percentage is. So we're going to do the SWA. That is 5%, and it's the same formula, 5% of 1 ounce, and that equals 1.4 gram. I already did it, did the math, so I know what the number is. But it's really that easy. And if you have a product that weighs um, two ounce, you would you would do the same thing. Zero point five percent of two ounce. What would be your next step? You would go to Google, right? And then you would type in zero point five percent of two ounce, and whatever number google spits out at you you would just put it in this field right here now if you want to create say like a bigger batch of this product say you want to make um 10 bottles of your one ounce product then once you get this answer in grams you would times it by 10 and you would do let's do the math you would do 0.14 times 10 and it will be 1.4 grams. So in order to make 10 one ounce bottles, you would need 1.4 grams of your preservative. That's really how you do the math. Same thing goes for your the SWA. In one bottle, right? One bottle, you need 1.4 gram of SWA. So for 10 bottles, you would need, you would do 1.4 times 10, and you would need 14 grams of SWA for that 10 ounce that you're going to make. So I, I, I see people ask all the time, what if I want to make, you know, um, a larger batch? All you would have to do is just figure out how much, how much more batch of that product that you want to make and times it by the gram. Not by the percentage, but by the gram that you get. And that's pretty much how you figure out how much of that one ingredient you need to create however many more of that product you want. It's really simple, but it does take practice. So practice makes perfect. By the time you start making like your 10th product, you will know exactly what to do. It'll become almost like muscle memory. So really simple guys. There's really no other way to break it down more easier than this, except to just start practicing, start implementing, and you will see that it becomes almost second nature. If you made it through the end of this video, thank you so much, I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so, I would really appreciate it. Also, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any video ideas or formulations that you want me to do, you can leave it in the comment section below and I will add it to the list. Again, thank you so much and I will see you in the next one later.